Hello, and welcome to the HBM Test and Measurement FAQ video series. I'm Krista Tweed, an Applications Engineer with HBM. In this video, I'm going to provide an overview of Perception's dual-mode recording. A dual-mode recording is a combination of a continuous recording and a sweeps recording. It is typically used by a test operator that is mainly interested in sweeps data but is nervous about not having any recorded data between sweeps. Dual mode allows you to record data between the sweeps at a lower sample rate. There are two sample traces shown here. The top picture is a multiple sweeps recording. You see the triggered sweeps, but no data between the sweeps. The lower picture is the same setup, but taking using a dual mode recording. The triggered sweeps are still seen, but there is data recorded between the sweeps as well. The easiest way to configure a dual mode recording is to use the time base group section of the acquisition control panel. The section is divided into two parts, fast sweeps and continuous. For the triggered sweeps, you set the sample rate, the sweep length, and the trigger position. The sweep length can be set in either time, denoted by a lowercase s for seconds, or in samples, denoted by a capital S. In this example, the sweep length is 500 milliseconds. The trigger position determines how much of the sweep is pre-trigger and how much is post-trigger. The trigger position can be set in percentage, time, or samples. In this example, with a 500 millisecond sweep length, a 20% trigger position means that 100 milliseconds of the sweep is pre-trigger and 400 milliseconds is post-trigger. When you start a dual mode recording, Perception immediately starts recording data at the continuous sample rate. When a trigger is received, Perception records one sweep at the fast sweep sample rate. After the sweep is completed, the sample rate drops down to the continuous sample rate until another trigger is received. This cycle continues until either the trigger count is reached or the user stops the acquisition. If the infinity box is selected, only the user selecting stop will stop the acquisition. This display shows a sample of the sample rate switch. Each dot you see on the trace is a sample. To the left of the red cursor is the slower continuous sample rate. To the right of the cursor is the faster sweep sample rate. Perception displays a single trace for the channel. Many data analysis programs are not able to support a signal with multiple sample rates. If you export dual mode data from Perception into such a data format, Perception automatically activates the resample option in the export dialog. The user decides if they want to export data at the low rate, the high rate, or custom rate. Note that there is no interpolation done when the sample rate is adjusted. In this example, we selected the low sample rate as the export sample rate. Thus, perception includes every tenth point from the sweeps data in the exported file. If the high rate is selected, data points are simply repeated 10 times to effectively increase the sample rate. Another possibility is to only export the sweeps portion of the data. If nothing of interest happened between the sweeps, the continuous data may not be needed for analysis. From the Automation menu, select Recordings Batch Processing. In the Interval Selection portion of the dialog, select Triggered Segments. In the Action section of the dialog, select Export To and click the Add button. This will export only the sweeps portion of the dual mode data file. In summary, we discussed what a dual mode acquisition is in Perception and learned how to set up the acquisition and take data. We also looked at some sample data files and discussed different options for exporting the data so it can be used in other software programs. Thanks for watching. If you have questions on Perception or any other HBM product, please feel free to contact technical support via phone, email, or the HBM website.